A Ventura County nonprofit is helping millions of people across the country and around the world cope with the death of a spouse or partner. KCAL's Elise Martinez introduces us to the work of Soaring Spirits. This is our, our wedding day. It's our children. Liz Cardinale is still learning to cope with the loss of her husband, John. He was that guy that just wanted us happy and just took care of really good care of us and loved us so well. Three years ago, John had a heart attack and died. Liz was there when he collapsed in their home. There's times I go back and forth with what I could have done um, differently. Her grief became too much to bear alone. I was that person that was in bed for months. She turned to the Simi Valley nonprofit Soaring Spirits for help. Founder and CEO Michelle Neff Hernandez started the organization after her husband Philip was killed in a cycling accident. He was beautiful. His death sent her on a path to connect with other widowed people who could help her adjust to her new reality. And now, even though she's since remarried, Neff Hernandez is dedicating her life to helping people who have lost their person. Being a part of the Soaring Spirits community means that they are going to have access to other widowed people and to resources that are de designed especially for widowed people, for the widowed experience. Resources include access to regional support groups and virtual programs. One of the centerpieces of the program is Camp Widow a multi-day event where widowed people can connect face to face. The organization welcomes all faiths, gender identities, and types of relationships. There is no restriction for accessing Soaring Spirits programs. If your person died, you are welcome in our programs. Since its inception in 2008, Soaring Spirits has reached around 4.5 million widowed people. It's still hard. I miss him greatly every day. Cardinale is one of those millions still dealing with the aftermath of death and now living alone. But thanks to the Soaring Spirits community, Cardinale says she feels like she's finally able to find her way. It's been a journey, so. Yeah. But I'm doing good. In Simi Valley, Elise Martinez, KCAL News.